How's it going JDM crew? John here from JDM Expo and if you're new to the channel this is an inventory video so we do have a new R33 GTST. Uh, if you'd like to know more you can always email us or direct message us on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. Uh, that email by the way is info at jdm-expo.com so uh, any of our sales guys will be able to talk to you but uh, I'm here just to show you this car and so here we've got uh, like I said, an R33 GTST, and uh, that means it's rear-wheel drive. So if you're looking for a GTR, uh, you might want to check one of our other videos. But uh, this one is two-wheel drive, rear-wheel drive. So uh, if you're a drifter or if you just prefer rear-wheel rear -wheel drive, it's, this is it right here. Uh, we do have a 2.5-liter RB, and uh, these things are pretty rev-happy. If you uh, ever use the RB26 or you ever have an experience with that or like the 2JZ being at 3 liter, um, those are rev happy too, but not as rev happy as this 2.5 or the 2 liter RBs, so, or the 1JZ which is 2.5. Yeah, for this one it's pretty much OEM uh, through and through, just a lot of original parts. Um, as stock as can be honestly it's just we got about 140,000 kilometers on the clock here and uh, so that's about I would say what 80 90,000 miles it's finally clearing up a little bit here sorry for the less interesting video here it's a little bit of traffic as we head over to the warehouse where I'll be giving you guys the uh, walkthrough showing you the interior and the exterior in a little bit more details but here on the running test as we're heading over there it's uh, nice and smooth, it's stock. Um, I've got the OEM clutch, so nothing spectacular there. Power level is uh, OEM because we have the stock intake and exhaust, stock tune, all that stuff. Uh, just, it's all stock. <laughs> um, interior is actually in pretty good shape. We've got uh, no sag in the headliner here. And uh, OEM seats. So no racing seat swaps or anything like that. Um, a little bit of wear on the driver's side, obviously, from getting in and out of here, uh, you know, from the previous owners. Uh, minor tear on like the little lumbar support there. Uh, but um, yeah, just still comfortable, that's for sure. Um, no weird smells, no smoking or anything like that in here. So uh, if you're worried about, uh, you know, the older material smell, it's just pretty much this more old car upholstery smell, no uh, moldy or smokiness, so that's good. That definitely was in good shape when we got it. And um, yeah, the exterior, you guys are gonna like that one for sure, but uh, yeah, definitely a nice, nice red color here. Um, not as common, you know, uh, typically you'll be seeing like the uh, silvers and gun metals and black and white. Um, but yeah, uh, here nothing too crazy with the audio system. I do have uh, here. Let's hope we don't get a DMCA from uh, the radio. We got uh, commercials there. Uh, if we had some tunes, uh, I tested it earlier. It's got some decent bass. So uh, for a stock audio system, uh, it sounds pretty decent. You know, we're listening to some top 40 Japan stuff basically, but. Um, definitely still pretty uh, crisp and clear with the local channels. Uh, however, if you are in uh, the Western Hemisphere, the uh, pretty much the overlap on channels would be like at the low end for uh, US channels. Over here, we cap out at about 90 megahertz. So you might need to swap that out. If you're looking uh, for uh, another audio system, you could probably uh, order the harness also so that you could swap that out. But uh, you could talk with our sales guys about that if you'd like to upgrade your stereo or get a Bluetooth or something put in there. But this one does support uh, CD and AM, FM and uh, tape. So if you got a cassette tape, you know, it's, <laughs> it works. Well, uh, there's nothing too crazy to show here on the horsepower. You're floating at around 200-ish, uh, a little over 200 horsepower. Uh, rear wheel drive, sounds good. But um, like I said, no crazy tuning there. Nice and smooth on the highway though with this OEM suspension. We do have the stock alloys, which I'll show you at the warehouse here. So let's just fast forward to that and I'll show you the exterior and uh, the engine bay, which isn't all that exciting. But if you're looking for original, then you'll probably be pretty excited to see that we have the stock air box as well. So uh, let's fast forward to that and I'll show you guys around. As you can see, the dash is in pretty good shape there. 
not all cracked or anything oh sorry the reflection <laughs> but uh yeah no holes drilled or anything so it's all original there and as you can see the uh upholstery is original there and the carpeting and here was that wear that i was talking about just uh from getting in and out of the car over the years that uh, eventually wears down so uh, you could probably put a patch on that or if you're okay with that that's cool or if you want a racing seat that's also an option you can ask our sales guys about that and we can get one installed for you and there you go the original interior there in the back having some trouble focusing there because uh, it's a little bit darker in here but as you can see the headliners looking good and uh, here a little bit of wear on the steering wheel of course and same with like the shift boot and the shift knob there you can see a little bit of the wear and the handbrake got the OEM radio there AM FM radio CD cassette so got the works there and uh, here we go I'll uh, show you guys the exterior looking real nice and here we go you can see on the top there I believe it was refreshed from the previous owner you know getting rid of those wood or those little road chips and everything that you get in the front so it's looking really good up here Yeah, you get those little rocks knocked up on the hood and on the front bumper, so uh, uh, this was taken care of real nicely. Uh, same thing even with like the bumper and like the lower areas there, just looking really good. And you might be noticing those alloys, by the way. But yeah, these alloys, similar to the ones that you might see on the S14 in the States. And uh, also the SE model that was over there. And uh, the Ks over here had them as well. So, something that Nissan had between the models there. Pretty nice, I would say. But uh, if you're looking for something else, we do have those options. So, just uh, make sure to let our guys know if you'd like to get something a little bit more custom. But as you can see here with the GTST front and those fog lights, pretty aggressive there. Not quite the same as the GTR, but uh, still pretty nice. And so let's uh, have a look at the engine van. I'll show you guys. Alrighty. And so we got this nice heavy steel hood. <laughs> and um, well, underneath here, pretty much stock. Uh, here's some numbers for those of you guys looking for some additional information. You can let our sales guys know, or you can look it up on your favorite registry, and they'll uh, get you some pretty good information about this. And so uh, over the top with the intake there, pretty much from here, going through the air filter into the turbo, and up to the front here. So we do have the intercooler right there, as you guys can see. It comes up and around to the intake plenum get you more power there and uh, similar fuel filter if you guys have seen with like the Z's and Sylvia's and such so a lot of the uh, Nissan's have that very easy to get to and take care of and so they did get the timing belt changed out just a couple years ago so uh, about 20,000 kilometers ago so if you guys are wondering they did have that changed out so the previous owner did take good care of it and left it original really just OEM maintenance and parts I mean even the radiators the original Calsonic so they did get a better cap though so they, they've taken care of it but yeah just having a look at that paint again and uh, I'll show you guys the trunk here show you uh, some of the additional space back here. Plenty of room. So if you got any cargo and whatnot, you can bring it with you real easily. There's the battery back up in here, so you guys can see. That's why you didn't see it in the front. And of course, your good old spare tire there.
Well, uh, there you have it, crew. Another fine R33 here. So this one is a bit more original. So if you guys are looking for something more modified, just uh, hit up our sales team, info at jdm-expo.com. If you like original, something that's a little bit more comfortable, this is exactly what you need right here. So uh, definitely, if you're familiar with the mid-90s Nissans, pretty comfortable all around. Um, with the Fair Lady Z and the uh, S14 in the States, I know uh, working on some and having an S14 of my own, it's a good time really comfortable very familiar interior so uh yeah uh, if you guys know about the mid 90s nissans it's exactly right it's very nice so um but if you like something more modified as i said just hit up our sales team they'll let you know uh what your options are and see what else is on the market we can check with our dealer partners from all across japan or even get something built if that's what you'd like so uh definitely you have all those options and also if you have any questions about the process i know shipping delays around the world and all that stuff uh the supply chain issues is still going on um there are some delays in some areas but we've actually had plenty of cars going into the states that had only minor delay or no delay so uh no issues there if you're going to other countries there's either some authorizations or some other delays there so uh, it is what it is so check with your customs local agencies or any brokers that might have any information on that for shipping conditions in your area and uh, we can also uh, let you know if you've also got a car on order right now, you know, obviously you can hit up our sales team. A lot of you guys that have already contacted us know we get back to you within about 24 hours. So uh, our, our sales team is definitely pretty good with that. So I'll see you later.